Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any content in the near future. I know that the majority of people that watch these style of videos, whether it's mine or someone else's, they don't always enjoy the actual tweaking aspect of it, they just like the performance of it. So I'm going to go over a few of the custom ISOs that I've used myself that are built by other people, not me and just go over some of the positives and negatives of them so you can figure out which one might fit the best for you. And if you don't know how to download this for a dual boot for Windows, this is the best way to do it because you don't have to mess with the Windows you already have now. Check my other video that I posted, the last one. You'll find it down in the description and up at the top right now. It's really simple and it's the best thing you could possibly do because you can always have two Windows running that way if something goes wrong with one of them or you don't really like the performance of it, you don't have to worry about it and freak out. You just have another Windows. All right, so jumping straight into this, I wanna first go over the best Windows for compatibility. So now this isn't gonna be so much for gaming, but if you don't play your games competitively and you just enjoy the aspect of loading up, playing with your friends, having fun, this Windows might be the best one for you because you're not going to run into any issues with future Windows updates, game compatibility, whether you're playing like a new game that comes out and you need to be on a new Windows or DirectX 12, something along those lines. But now this Windows isn't going to be the most tweaked or have the best performance in terms of latency, mouse control, things along those lines. So we're just going to jump right into their Discord really quick. As you can see, the invite is on my page right here. Please, for all of these discords that I've posted, be respectful, ask questions in the right channels. All of them have support channels, as I'll show you. See on the side over here, the support channels, common questions. This revision install actually has a quick post install guide. It doesn't have complicated things. It's just how to get you up and running. Now let's jump into the next OS. So you might've seen a previous video that I've done on the Fox OS. The reason that I believe that this is the best Windows 7 one that I've found is he consistently updates it, new tweaks, fixes problems, things along those lines. So let's hop in his Discord really quick. You'll see on this download page, he started a Windows 10 as well. But you can see that he's on 1.7 now for his Windows 7. There are a few downsides to using Windows 7. You're gonna have a lot of compatibility issues it might not even run on your motherboard. You're gonna have to go into your BIOS, change different settings sometimes to get it to run. Not always the easiest process, but it is very consistent across the majority of computers of having very low latency, just because you're not gonna have all of the extra BS that Windows and Microsoft puts into every new update because it's all the way back in Windows 7. Really simple, and it gives you really consistent gaming performance. In this Discord, you'll find different help channels, as well as many guides that he has on his page for various things. Again, please go through and read some of the channels before you ask questions, like what's unsupported. You can see that all of these things are not going to be able to work in this Windows 7. So if you're like, oh, I really need Adobe apps, don't use it for your main windows. Make sure you use dual boot windows so you can still use that on your main windows and then game on Windows 7. Now these next two windows, the Rec OS and the GG OS. So for most Intel players, I would recommend the Rec OS and AMD, the GG OS. The newer versions of Windows have a different scheduler that supposedly runs better with AMD CPU units. Either of these choices are going to be good, but if you're just going to pick one right off the bat, that's what I would go with. For the Rec OS, you can see in the change log what is enabled, what's disabled. So you can go through and quickly look at something and be like, okay, that's something that I need, so I don't want that to be a problem. I've used both of these OS's for months at a time. I've had no issues with them. They're both great. You might find better performance with one than the other on your computer, but for me, I didn't find huge difference aside from the fact that I do have an Intel chip, so I get much lower latency, better mouse movement when I'm 1709 ISO, regardless of whether it's the Rec OS or just a 1709. That's why I run with that. 
and the GGOS is probably going to be your best bet for the most compatibility while still having solid gaming. I found that a lot of the things are kept on the GGOS and not completely removed like you'll find in other ISOs. That's very helpful for someone that doesn't care about the best possible gaming performance, still wants a gaming ISO, not just a Windows 11 full updated compatibility with everything ISO. I know that some of these have install guides or separate things with them, but if you guys do want me to make a video on some of them, of downloading it from start to finish and just what I do, I can do that as well. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on notifications. Peace out.